John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another driving with John Chow. And the truth of the matter is I actually did two other episodes before this actual episode but they all failed because uh, well the battery on my mic died on me so uh, I have kind of frustrating but I have to restart it. Anyway I am on my way to the to Newport Beach to the real office center for the dot com lifestyle meetup. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create the system. Exactly, the system. How to how do you create the the muse that will make the money so you don't have to so you can live the dot com lifestyle. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. It will be uh, recorded and uh, I may make it available to to everyone but we'll see we'll see anyway I want to talk about two points today the first one is uh, about determination you see right now I'm on a diet actually I, I started a new diet I've been trying to lose some weight and because it's summer and I want to look good for the summer and anyway about a week and a half ago I got on the scale and I'm 216 pounds which is, I guess when you're six foot three, it may not be too bad, but I feel it's a little on the high side for, for my height. So I got back on my bike and I've been riding around Orange County. Great place to ride too, because you know, it's nice and smooth. Very, very bike friendly town, by the way, too. They have every, every single lane has a, has a bike path, so. And anyway, I've been riding for the last week and a half and so far, I haven't lost a single pound. So, I'm gonna start a new diet. And the reason for that is because, well, the truth of the matter is, if you want to get fit, lose weight, you have to both exercise and diet. So I will be uh, going on a diet as well as exercising. As a matter of fact, I think the diet is actually more important than the exercise. I believe it's more like 60% diet and 40% exercise. So living a dot-com lifestyle allows me to eat allows me to eat pretty good, right? Pretty good. So it's time to uh, get more nutrition, more organic food, that kind of stuff. And I gotta tell you, you know, week and a half riding every day, like an hour a day, every single day, and to see no progress, you think that would that would be discouraging, right? The only thing it does to me, it makes me more determined than ever. It makes me more determined. I don't get discouraged. I see that, I just see that as a bigger challenge and uh, that's why I start the diet. And it's the same way I look at my business. You know, when uh, I look at my blog, I'm trying to make money from it, I'm trying to increase the revenue and I see it doesn't move. It doesn't upset me. It just makes me more determined than ever that I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get it done. And that is an attitude that you need to take with you, you know, when, on your journey, on your, on your journey to living a dark lifestyle. You have to be determined to do it and you're going to get setback. Oh yeah, you're going to get setback. You're going to get a lot of setback. So when that happens, how you, how you react to the setback will determine whether you succeed or not. I mean, do you just go, oh, uh, I guess it doesn't work. I think I'll quit. Or do you just Get more determined to do it. Just more like, this isn't gonna stop me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go do this. And that's how you gotta handle it, all right? Don't be like those duck liners. You know, the duck, the, these are the people who are, well, they're waiting to line up all the ducks. Yeah, I, I, get, I get a big segment of my readers. They, all they want, they send me emails, not because they really want to ask me a question, or not because they actually want to know the answer to the question. They send me an email because they feel that they are actually doing something, they're actually making progress to, uh, to the end goal. When the truth of the matter is, they're doing it just to stay busy, to make it appear like, you know, they're making progress. And I, I, know, I know exactly who they are, because they're the one who sent me an email where the answer is already in the blog post. I mean, they didn't even bother to read the blog post. They just sent me an email and if they read the blog post, they would have found the answer. And the worst sometimes, they send me an email using a question that is the same as the title of the blog post. 
I mean, you, it's bad enough that you didn't read the blog post, but then you didn't read the title of the blog post. And because they're doing this, not because they're looking for an answer, they're doing this just to make it trick, they're doing this to trick themselves into thinking that, yeah, I'm making progress, yeah, I'm asking questions, I'm doing due diligence. And these people are getting ready to get ready. That's what they are. Do not be a person who's getting ready to get ready. Because the truth of the matter is, there was never a right time to do something. If I had to wait until I knew everything there is to know about blogging before I start the blog, the blog would have never got started. And that's the truth. Like, I can't code with a damn. And I don't know how to design, I don't know how to do graphics. If I had to learn all that stuff before I started a blog, the blog would never got started. But you know, there are people who will take a blogging course and think, oh, that was great. Now I need to learn, oh, email. I need to learn email marketing. So they didn't take an email marketing course. They go, yeah, that was a really good course. I really didn't start it. But now I need to learn this. And not to learn, I need to learn that. And all the time they're learning all this stuff, but they're not taking any action on actually implementing what they learn. And they, they think that, Somehow, by just studying and learning, money will magically appear without having to actually do the work. So they constantly spend money on courses, on webinars, and seminars. And years later, they're still spending money on webinars and seminars. They're no better off today than they were a year ago. And they're wondering, how come it's not working? It's not working because they're not working. Eh? It's nice to say, oh yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, but unless you actually put your words into action, it doesn't mean a thing. When I, started, when I first started blogging, I, I had a lot of friends who told me that, oh yeah, what, that sounds amazing, you're actually making money from this, I need to get on this, I need to get on this. So I go, yeah, all you got to do is go to GoDaddy, register your domain name, go to HostGator, set up a web hosting account, start your blog. and. They say, yeah, I need to do this. This sounds so easy. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna, and then they, they buy a book, even buy a course, and five years later, I'm still waiting to see that blog. Still waiting. Still waiting. And then there are the people who have to make, who have to make sure everything is correct. Everything, or, or they're, you know, they're doing their due diligence, or they're studying. They go, oh, yeah, I'm not sure. This is for me. I'm going to go check it out and figure it out. A great example of this with my, with my, my, my top tier business. My top tier business, you know, our 21 step program to help you make $1,000, $3,000, $5,000 online. I mean, we charge an application fee of $49, right? And it's unbelievable. I mean, you would think, you would think some of these people that are, that are investing in my top tier, it's $49, but you would think that they, they, they're gonna invest a million dollars in they're asking, a billion questions, they're doing their oh, due diligence, trying to find this, trying to find that information, sending me a zillion questions. I go, dude, it's 49 bucks. I mean, seriously, if you can't invest $49 in yourself, then what's the point? I mean, you're not buying a, you're not spending a million dollars to buy a, a franchise or, or, or you're not trying to buy a house here, okay? If, if you're spending several million bucks, yeah, I can understand it, okay? You're gonna investigate, you're gonna do proper due diligence. This is, I mean, if losing $49 is gonna like bankrupt you or something, I mean, seriously, you know, there is a time to, there is, everything is relative, all right? But yet, I'm seeing, I'm seeing people they're getting online, they're trying to find everything they can. They're even making a video asking, has anyone tried this yet? Uh, can you give me your opinion? I mean, seriously, seriously. They're getting ready to get ready. And those are the people who will naturally never do anything. They'll never do anything. But they'll just keep spending money, trying to find the next bank. They're, 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 what they're, they're looking for a push button, you know, the push button, the magic bullet. And the truth of the matter is there is no magic bullet, you know, they, I mean, you can't just, oh, I'm going to give you 50 bucks, I'm going to give you a thousand bucks or two thousand dollar program or whatever, and then money is going to come, magically come in. That's not how it works. You still need to do the work. And that's the key. You still need to do the work. Nothing happens without you, right? So, uh, 
my lesson for you today is if you're getting ready to get ready, stop it. You will never be ready. I was never ready to start my blog. I was never ready to actually make money online. I was never ready to, uh, to do anything. I just went ahead and did it. Because if you have to wait till things are perfect, if you have to wait till all those ducks line up, those ducks will never line up. You might as well wait for the alignment of the planet, you know? Because the planets they'll never line up. Well, they may line up, I think they line up maybe one, once every two billion years. But other than that, you know, all the planets are not in line right now. So, and it probably won't be aligned in our lifetime unless you want to, unless you want to wait two billion years. So, same thing, those ducks, they're never going to line up. And if you have to wait, if you're going to wait till those ducks line up, you're going to be waiting till the cows come home, which is forever. It ain't going to happen. So, just do it. Just do it and get it done, all right? Enough, when, when you finally run out of excuses, you will do it. And don't use studying or emailing me, asking me a question as, oh yeah, I'm doing it. That's not doing it. Doing it is when you actually, you get down there and do the work, all right? So, this is John Chow from johnchow.com and you've been watching Driving with John Chow. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, free, give me your comment and feedback. And uh, I hope this windsock is working because the wind is actually pretty noisy. I guess we'll find out when I, when I watch this video to see how it turns out. So uh, until next time, uh, I'll see you on the next episode.